Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. This is another of my fictional short, short stories. This one is called Quit. I'm 40, and still I'm best friends with Derek, the kid who sat next to me in the third grade. Although we both live in L.A., because of the traffic, we just talk on the phone or Zoom. But for once, we decided to, today, a Saturday, brave the traffic and meet for coffee. Before we go further, I should explain that Derek and I are testimony to opposites attracting. I value stability. For example, I'm one of the administrative assistants at one of L.A.'s counties, many regulatory boards and commissions. I'm embarrassed at how bureaucratic it is. Even on issues of trivial import, we've got rules and regulations, often requiring a petitioner to provide detailed information, and then we often deny the request or ask for more data. But the job pays well, and we get good benefits and great job security. On the personal front, I'm married. We just had our second kid and I try to be a responsible husband and father. We own a modest condo in one of L.A. County's only decent school districts. For fun, I like watching high school sports and TV shows like Ted Lasso and Shark Tank. Derek is the opposite. He's an entrepreneur. The product doesn't matter as long as it sells. One time it was recycled wind turbine parts. Then it was a new flavoring for Listerine knockoff mouthwash. And then there was the lower cost tool and die making machine. Lest you think Derek's a zillionaire, he always complains of <coughs> cash flow problems, which he only partly keeps at bay by delaying paying his bills and by getting credit cards that are 0% interest for the first year. On the personal front, he's a fun lover, a bachelor, and vacations in cool places from Cannes to Cancun. Not surprising, Derek showed up in a Nike tracksuit and Hoka shoes. I wore my usual cheap no-brand polo shirt and jeans and sneakers. Even though Derek and I know each other so well, we start with small talk like, boy, the Lakers suck again, don't they? I transitioned by asking, so Derek, how's business? He said, I found a formula for longer lasting chewing gum. But when I asked whether he's had it medically tested, he said, uh, we're not up to that yet. Uh, Matt, how's your job? I said, steady Eddie. The paychecks keep coming, the job is chill, and the government matches my 401k, it's okay. He snorted, dude, you're 40, half done. Is this really all you want, chicken shit, fear-driven, make-work government bureaucrat? It's the embodiment of soul-sucking. All I could muster was, it isn't so bad, and it's great to know the paychecks will always come in, unlike with you, Derek. He replied, why don't you take advantage of the Family Leave Act? You just had a kid. If the feds give you 12 weeks off, the state adds another 12. And voila, you got almost a half year to come up with something better. I said I'd think about it, but between you and me... I don't think I have the guts. Anyway, that little story is called Quit. As usual, I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And certainly would welcome you to take a look at any of my 32 books. The two that are most relevant here would be work stories and relationship stories, those separate books. But all 32 are on Amazon. Just go there, search on my name, and you'll find more than you can stomach. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.